round 2 it was called i explore congratulations all of you for qualifying the first round was it easy yes it's going to be tough now okay so we start with the second round it's called i explore okay there are three stages to it first one is the case study the second one is let me speak and the third one is turn co a uh, case study round in which you get different scenarios audios and vis uh, visuals okay so go to solve the cases you will be shown a video which is converted to a reverse order okay so the course of action that you are seeing is from end to start okay you will be given over your step on step to and so on okay suppose you write ten steps from start to end After the case study round, it was time for the story building round. It was called Let Me Speak. We were given a start line. I was walking on the road. It was a dark night and it started raining. I was walking to my friend's house. Suddenly it started raining and um, suddenly slipped. So I told her my hand was aching a lot. So she said, "Okay, come on, get into the car fast. We go to the doctor." And the doctor knew that we were making an attempt to escape, and then he sent out his uh, guards, and he caught all the rest of my friends. And then all there was spotlight all over me. There were lights coming from everywhere, and there was a loud voice on the speaker. No, I didn't know what was the thing, and they were making sounds, and I thought that there was a ghost. And then, however, uh, after two or three minutes, I got to know that that, uh, that day was my birthday. and they gave me a surprise but first of all rather uh, rather than going anywhere i went to the hospital to visit mr mehra he was in a very critical condition and to we had to make him in the sense smile and talk to us so i went to him and i said mr mehra don't worry both hell and heaven are nice i've been to both places <laughs> i love you <laughs> it got more and more bizarre from the doctor to the birthday to the hospital to heaven and what not Some of the students could not stop giggling. No fault of theirs. It was very funny. And then came the knife. Then he like came up with a knife which he already held. It was all red in color. So he like this is a special knife. You can like use it as a butter knife and your as and your thing your pant as a paratha. Put on you put on Mr. Muscle on it nicely. Be sure to wipe it off. I took the knife from him and wondered that what was this all about. I asked him, "What do you mean?" So he said that look at the knife carefully and see what is inscribed on it. I looked at it carefully with the magnifying glass I had laying around and saw that there was three words written on it: "Clean your pants." So then I took the knife from him and killed myself. <laughs> then, then I then I then I went back to hell. I went to hell. Then, then again I got the choice whether to go to hell or heaven. This time I went to heaven. This time I went to heaven and became an angel. <laughs> the final part of round 2 was turn coat. Singh is king. Shahrukh Khan should be our next prime minister. Boys are better than girls. Hanuman or Superman. Superman should wear his underwear inside his pants. We had to speak for or against the same topic. This was real fun. The topics tested our presence of mind, sense of humor, and ability to just talk. My topic is Superman should wear his underwear inside his pants. Superman should wear his underwear inside his pants. Oh, no. his status in front of a woman who he is saving would be uh, safe from this and. Also, is uh, also people will consider him more decent than what he is now. If he does that, it will be comfortable for him to fly. But <laughs> it would be like if he had worn his underwear outside his pants, he's fine. Suddenly a rod comes in, underwear gets stuck, and then it gets pulled. So he in his pants, he would lose all his identity because most of the superheroes are used to wearing their underpants outside their pants. If he wears inside, um, inside. he would be not unique and he would be not more famous thought that the competition so far was brilliant 
the first round it was quite a confusion initially but then it is start things are just pacing up um these rounds were very good the topics were very good um uh, especially the one which we've just been through uh, that was that was a really like like a killer round i enjoyed the day thoroughly it was awesome like paisa vasool kind of and it was nice i like the story around the best we made a very agra agra story and it was very nice. i explore ended and it was result time again parents waiting all day and students after two rounds of mind boggling activities seemed anxious to know who all made it to the national finals the results were being tabulated using the software specially designed by mexis for the purpose we have to declare the results so you all are ready and lastly i am just going to say that the students who have not uh, reached the final four or something like that don't get this after Reaching here is also a very, very big, big, big achievement for the parents and of course for the students. So without delay, we will start with the fourth position. Finally, the results were announced, and the winners were joyous and thrilled. shed tears of joy I didn't expect that I would pass the first round but coming to this national finals was really I didn't even expect that I was quite um, nervous in the third round because I didn't know what was the exact answer and The questions asked were very confusing, but I tried my level best and I won this competition. I really didn't prepare wholly. I was half prepared. Not everything I have prepared for every each and every question was based on my on my tweet or on my past, which I had uh, I had experimented. In fact, I cried. Actually, I expected him, but when they announced ten, nine, eight, five, then I said, okay, now no chance. And then they announced third. and i was it was his id number and i was really 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 proud of her feeling great last time also she did very well she won a laptop for herself in the finals i hope she does the same this time also any ways if she doesn't get that it's a nice experience for her i was expecting for first 50 but i wasn't expecting first today is her dad's birthday this is the finest gift she could have given on his birthday and some others were really disappointed for not having made it and then there were others who just enjoyed the experience they are children have come just for fun sake yeah you know uh, just to uh, to get the confidence that's it and everybody cannot be a winner so You have to accept it, so that's it. And there is this test. I mean, this kind of a test is something which they enjoy. You know, it's nothing to do with curriculum. They have to buy art, and it is more on application and more objective. So I think all of them. I think they really enjoyed in school, yeah, and that's what we look forward for. But that's it. Was great. Do I not get selected? But was way too great. I enjoyed myself, and just can't say anything else. And some got philosophical after a long day. I'm disappointed because I thought I would. Yeah, I'm surely disappointed. But uh, this is part and parcel of life. Of any screening test, failures and uh, successes are they go hand in hand in life. So that is uh, greater aspect. But then uh, I, I hope you will learn from the failure. And the winners geared up to meet their counterparts from all over the country at IIT Mumbai for the national finals. <laughs>